So what's going to happen when Metro cards go bye bye for subways and buses? It's going to be a little while, but tonight we're getting our first glimpse of what's going to replace the Metro card, which doesn't seem that long ago replaced coin tokens. It's called Omni, a tap payment system, a card or phone, mobile phone reader. It's the future. Testing begins next month with how it works for us. Here's Joe Torres. Observe and strap hangers have already seen them at numerous subway stations across the city. The brand new Omni readers will soon allow riders to pay their transit fare with a simple tap of a mobile wallet, credit card, or Apple Watch. You don't have to wait in line to uh, fill your card all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like an easy pass for the train. The new readers are currently in place at the Bowling Green station and 16 subway stations along the four, five, and six lines, as well as all Staten Island buses. At the moment, the new readers only work for about 1,200 MTA employees, all part of a month-long testing period. We anticipate having some variances, not large because we've done such extensive, extensive testing already, but that's the goal, to eliminate any potential variances. The new readers will be available to the riding public at the end of next month. And while many people told us they like the new approach, there are concerns about security. A little bit because, you know, um, with all the hacking that goes on, mm -hmm. you know, so that's a little nerve wracking. And for all you loyalists, don't worry, the MetroCard isn't going away anytime soon. It'll be here working side by side with the e-readers until at least the end of 2022.